So hi there, welcome to Paint and Zoo. My name is Matt and more importantly, we've come to meet Stu, who's going to tell us about our posh donkeys. Right now, we are having a big debate about whether zebras are stripy or not. And I know people ask us about whether zebras have got stripy skin. Okay, okay. have you ever shaved a zebra? I have. Okay. Not completely. No. Okay. No, but uh, when we do uh, general anaesthetics, then okay. um, we need an area of bare skin that we can use to uh, put cannulas in, so for injections and that sort of okay, thing. Okay, so if so one of our vets was, a, it was maybe needs to do a blood test or something yes. like that, then they'd have to shave a patch and the yep. skin underneath is? is black. 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 So, so they're black with white stripes. Right, okay, and I have read that in inside the mum's womb, that a baby zebra at the start is black and then That's it right. develops as white stripes, so yep. black skin. And obviously they grow the fur towards the end of their, of their hair, towards the end of the uh, gestation period, okay. and that's when obviously the stripes are done. It is all. Right, okay, now we're talking about our zebras, Hartman's Mountain Zebras. They look a lot like the zebras you see in, what, in The Lion King, right? But they're not. Mm -hmm. How can you tell the difference between a Hartman's Mountain Zebra and a plain zebra? The jula. So, the jula. Yes, yes, there is a little flap of skin right, okay, underneath the chin there. Yeah, right, it's okay. the right. And, uh, I do not have a jula, this bit here, <laughs> right? But you're saying that on the, these zebras they can see it, so yes. people can look at them. Yeah. I mean, there are subtle differences with the stripes. You know, some of them have got wider stripes, some yeah. have got narrower stripes, but uh, the main difference that you can tell is, is the jula, so that flap of skin underneath the chin there. Right, I would like to as well complain that your, your zebras, they're quite grubby. Yes. Right. They spend quite a lot of time rolling around in the Devon red mud that we've yeah, got. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, like, they they like rolling. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I mean, it's an important important part of their uh, their grooming, if you like. Okay. Um, so that will help get rid of parasites and that sort of thing. Having a good run in Africa, they've been rolling in a dusty yeah. um, sort of area of the of their environments. But here, obviously, it's quite wet. We've got a heavy clay soil. Um, so they end up being quite pink and black, really, yeah, right? yeah. white and black. Right? Pink and black, right, yeah. okay. And weirdly, here's your word of the day. Zebras are ecosystem engineers. So the times when they're rolling in the dust in Namibia, where they're found, the little hollows that they create are actually little refuges for insects and other animals uh, in times of drought. So our zebras rolling actually in the water is really important. It's very important, okay. yeah. Right, Stu, talking about them rolling in the rich mud here, one of the things I know you're excited about as a keeper is the, uh, the new stables that are being built. So yes. can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so uh, hopefully in the new year, we're gonna be moving them across to the new stables. Um, they're gonna be on a hardcore paddock rather than the, the, the rich grassland we've got here, uh, which means that we can control all of their nutrition. So we know exactly what's going into them, which is going to be much better for their health. Okay. Um, our grass here is not what they would find in Namibia. In Namibia. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's grown on a very rich Devon soil, clay soil, loads of nutrients, loads of sugar in the grass, um, which is actually is not good for these guys. They okay. need a bit more of a, a poorer nutrition, if you like. Yeah, okay, well, they're in Nam Namibia, for. they'd be on like really sparse grazing, right, up in yeah. the mountains. Yeah. So we're going to move them across to new stables. Yeah. They're going to be on a new yard where you'll be able to control what they eat. What do they eat here at the zoo? Okay, so hay and straw. Okay. Um, so we, we want them to be on quite a high fiber, but low nutrition, low okay. sugar diet. So yeah, hay and, hay and straw. <laughs> Sounds like it might be good for me as well. So <laughs> yeah. high fiber, low sugar. Yeah. Right, okay, might get some of that myself. And when they're over, uh, they'll be over next to the giraffes here, yes. so it'll yeah. be uh, an interesting new angle. Exactly, it's going to be a lot more relevant for, for us to be able to sort of display giraffes and zebras right next to each other. Cool, so hopefully exciting changes here with the zebras in the next few months and uh, you can come and see them here at Paint and Zoo soon. Thanks, Stu. Thank you.